Hello and uh, welcome to free.net tutorials. This is Emmanuel Mendu. In this video, we will see a small example on uh, grid view sorting. One of my user they asked like uh, they need a sorting example, so I'm just creating a sorting example for our users. So uh, let's create a create a website here and let's drag and drop a grid view control so let's before everything we need some data for to populate in the grid view so i'll create a par property here a data set so here i created uh, a view state i'm maintaining a view state for the data stuff so I created, uh, I added few columns and added few rows for that so that it will display all that things. So let's name it, name our uh, GD some results. So let's copy this and go to your page load and just bind it to the grid control whatever the data set you already created so gd results dot data point so when here when I run here you will see a grid control but it's without sorting right so <coughs> let's go and add the sorting thing here if you say allow sorting go and refresh your page you will see some uh, sorting link but if you click on here you you will see some ex exception uh, because we didn't add any sorting uh, event here so let's go and work on that <coughs> so let's put love paging also size and mention like any number of uh, uh, rows you, if you want to show like 25 rows in one page you can mention like page size equal to 25 you can do any any way so let's go to design and go to properties go to events and you will see <coughs> sorting and we also need page index changing right so let's let's have both here so when you when, when you run your program now you will see a links for our headers and a page uh, page numbers here I, I mentioned like three because of um, small data I'm just using for three rows in a one page so when you click on the second it won't give any exception here because we already created a few events for our sorting and paging so <coughs> the main thing here is like if you are sorting um, if, you are, if you are sorting there will be two types of sorting like ascending and descending right so when you click on ID first right now it's an ascending when you click again it should become descending so I will maintain um, this th this in fashion like is it in ascending or descending the previous thing so let me show that I will I will add a new property with uh, 
that thing yeah let me let me add in the session but we there is no need of property so we'll use only sessions for um, tracking the sort direction and uh, sort expression for sort expression we need a uh, bond fields here so let's go and columns bond field so here i, I added like bond field um, just just using our uh, uh, view state data set using the same columns and using the data field and sort expression as the same thing so we got the sort expression here we will use a session here and for that sort expression session of let's name it as like sort expression depend like there is there is the this matter right like you can use like string sort expression e dot oh it's it's not sort thing so okay and you can directly put this here so that you can use this sort expression <coughs> when you are binding that grid view so here you can check sort direction thing let's assume that the session is null here so check null condition before uh, checking this is an ascending or descending to string just comparing there will be sort direction property it says descending let's take descending first Here I need to I need to add sort direction, not sort expression. So we need to assign a value for this. When it is descending, we will give ascending to our session. Okay. In else part, we will write descending but here we will uh, call a function like sort we will send uh, sort expression and ascending Think let's create a method here here uh, I, I am just taking a data view for sorting that will be good option to take so i'm just use um, just converting our uh, employees date table to data view and we go we will have some property like sort in data view so we can directly give us expression space and what's the direction you want to you can pick this as direct direction that's a good notation for understanding so there will be ascending or descending here and rebind our gr grid control so let's go and test it our page let's refresh it you see our data here so when i click on the full name uh, so let's go and see what's going on here when i click on the customer id it says first time the session is null so let's do one thing (coughs) 
just pull the data in uh, one format and uh, let's give our sort direction at default as descending so it will take ascending order now so when your data is in ascending order or descending order when you click on this see it directly takes the value but it says some some error here so let's see what's going on maybe i mistakenly do, did something yeah I, i'm not calling here anything so let's say this as descending that's a problem so i think we no need of putting this here that's good catch so uh, let's go and do our first click so it's it's working right now so when i see uh, emmanuel e it is sorting for like e when you see when you want to see like we got five results so let's see the data in five things five rows so when i when i want to sort this customer id you see 54321 it's not descending order it's on it's on ascending order you can go to the full name thing again from she emmanuel v v is coming top so here we need to have auto generate columns false <coughs> then you will have correct columns here so you can see the sorting is working fine let's work on paging thing no need of this <coughs> here we are taking two uh extra strings to store our sort expression and new sort direction and we are binding the page index here new page index like if you are having in if you are in first page if you want to go to the second page it will bind here and the same thing whatever we we did in our sort sorting thing same if condition same direction if you are you need to bind again let's call sort function here directly so due to time we so i mean little time so i'm just copying from my uh, sample program so let's go and change our page size here it's change into 2 or we will add few names here so it will be easy for you to understand yep so when i refresh you will see a couple of pages here let's run it again you will see four pages here because of 10 records every record is taking every page is taking three three rows and even even the sorting works like say in the paging thing if you see when you go to the first page if you sort to the ascending order the last number should be the fourth number should be one okay that's it that's a small example on uh, sorting and paging you can look at our look at my code and you can do an example and if you have any questions you can comment me directly in facebook or or my on my site ultus.com or if you if you want to search my name you can search facebook so you will see me and you can you can leave any feedback if you want thank you for watching guys see you in the next video bye bye